Right everyone, it is Finn here and welcome back to my channel where in today's video I've got a tiny bit of football transfer news for you guys and it's definitely an interesting tiny bit of a weird one because apparently Everton Football Club are looking to sign Manchester United winger Jesse Lingard for £30 million. I know, right? And as a Manchester United fan, you better believe I'm going to share my opinion on the matter. Because in today's video, I'm going to be talking about why this transfer is beneficial to all three parties, Everton, Lingard and Manchester United, and whether Jesse Lingard is worth £30 million. Now, as I said, this is definitely a tiny bit of a weird transfer, and I do believe it could be beneficial to all three parties, which of course, guys, if you do like regular football news, whether it be transfer news or just general updates, and you're not subscribed to this channel, please do consider subscribing down down below it helps me and the channel out quite a bit and obviously you do get to catch more content like this in the future but Jesse Lingard looking at him if he moves from Manchester United to Everton I do believe that we can confirm that maybe he does have a tiny bit of a fetish for playing for teams that David Moyes has managed which in that case I'm highly disappointed that David Moyes didn't end up getting the Real Madrid job we could have seen something truly special with the likes of Jay Ling's dabbing it out at the Bernabeu but you know what maybe maybe it can still happen never let your dreams die but looking at Jesse Lingard if he moves to Everton I truly believe this could be an incredibly smart thing to do at this stage of his career he is 28 years old the prime of his career as most people say but on the the other hand I mean the later stages of his career where he truly has to make some smart decisions yes I know he's not that incredible 19 20 year old player that's going to achieve great things like win the Ballon d'Or yes I know many people say that Lionel Messi looks up to him the old stale jokes we've been saying for years now but at the end of the day Jesse Lingard has to make some smart decisions and moving to Everton could be one of them I believe it'll be beneficial to him I believe he'll get more game time there because looking at Manchester United if Jesse Lingard plays in the wing position which he did for West Ham United last season I don't I don't see him really competing against other players. I don't see him getting the game time he deserves because he will be competing against the likes of Jaden Sancho, Marcus Rashford, Greenwood, and Daniel James. And yes, he might sneak in quite a few games, quite a few minutes. I don't think he'll get the game time he deserves. And if he plays in the attacking midfield position, I mean, he's just not going to play over Bruno Fernandes, is he? So moving to the likes of Everton could be great for them because looking at Everton in terms of their winger position, Rafa Benitez, the Premier League legend, is back in the Premier League. And he has said that he is looking for a wide player, a winger who can cross balls into the box for the likes of Calvert-Lewin and I believe Jesse Lingard could be the perfect player for this. Now looking at Everton's current winger situation they do have the likes of Andros Townsend who they've just brought in for free from Crystal Palace which I really do believe that is a great transfer. I feel like he could do a solid job. They also have the likes of Hamas Rodriguez, Bernard, Iwobi, Walcott and Richarlison who can play in the striker position and to be honest with you guys I believe over most of those wingers Jesse Lingard could get in this team. I believe he could get regular week in week out football obviously the likes of Hamas Rodriguez is the strongest winger out of all of those and there have been some rumors that he is linked to moves away from Everton maybe he could move to AC Milan or teams like that but in terms of the left winger position I do believe Jesse Lingard has that nailed down it depends whether Richarlison plays as a stri uh, striker or winger though but I believe this is where Jesse Lingard needs to go to get regular football obviously he could also play as an attacking midfielder where at Everton the likes of Hamas Rodriguez and Gilfie Sigurdsson are there which obviously as I said Hamas Rodriguez could be moving away and Gilfie Sigurdsson tiny bit of a dodgy subject to talk about at the moment so I'm going to quickly run over that but as I said I think him moving to Everton could be a great move I mean if you told me Jesse Lingard a few years ago could be moving to a Liverpool football club I don't think I would have believed you but the fact that he is moving to Everton that could be brilliant obviously I think this could be a huge push for Everton because over the last two three years there's been talks about them maybe wanting to play European football. Obviously, teams like Aston Villa and West Ham United have been pushing over the last few years. West Ham United now have European football next year. And I believe Everton should be on that similar stretch. Obviously, there were talks about it last season when Ancelotti was Everton's manager, which uh, obviously a <laughs> tiny bit of a betrayal story against Everton moved back to the likes of Real Madrid, which what a toxic relationship that is. I mean, it's just like the couple that get together and break up all the time. I mean, it's not going to last forever. But at the end of the day, I believe Rafa Benitez is an excellent manager. He has achieved many things throughout his managerial career. Yes, moving to Everton is a tiny bit weird, but don't forget, he won the championship with the of Newcastle United. He's managed teams like Everton. He won the Liga Valencia. He's gone to the likes of Napoli. As I said, Liverpool. Some of the best clubs in the entire world. This is a manager who knows what he's doing and he knows what to do to win. Now, Jesse Lingard could obviously be his biggest signing at Everton. As I said, he's gotten the likes of Andros Townsend in, who I believe could do a serious job. And backup goalkeeper in the likes of Begovic, the former Chelsea legend, in my opinion. What is that noise you may be asking? I've dropped my book of notes. 
Please ignore that. So as I was saying, I truly do believe Jesse Lingard could get regular football at Everton and I believe that he is good enough to really change things at Everton. 28 years old, he could get a good 3-4 years left in his career out of him. I believe he is the player who could, dare I say, change Everton. And obviously the big question is, is Jesse Lingard worth 30 million pounds, I think to an extent, yes, by the way he performed last season, definitely, I feel like you could get a lot out of Jesse Lingard, there are talks about it being pushed to 40 million pounds, now I don't necessarily agree with 40 million pounds, I think 40 million pounds you deserve a consistent player, which yes, Lingard did well for West Ham United last season, but I do believe for 40 million pounds you do deserve a player who performs like that week in week out for years in my opinion, and unless we see Jesse Lingard do that for 2-3 years, 40 million pounds I don't quite see, but 30 million pounds I do believe we could see Everton steal an excellent player off of Manchester United. But guys, that is my opinion and thoughts on Jesse Lingard if he moved from Manchester United um, to Everton. Obviously, it has not been confirmed yet, but it is strongly rumoured at the moment. Obviously, after Jesse Lingard's performances for West Ham United last season, he has been linked to some big clubs, along with the likes of AC Milan and Serie A, which I mean, if AC Milan do make an offer for Jesse Lingard, I think he would move to AC Milan. Obviously, I mean, they've got the likes of Giroud, the greatest striker of all time. So I don't know why they wouldn't want the best midfielder of all time with Jesse Lingard. But as I said, if Jesse Lingard ended up moving to Everton, I feel like that could be a great story for him, especially if he helps him uh, gain European football. I think that could be absolutely excellent for him. Guys, as I said, that is my opinion on the matter. Obviously, tiny bit of a short video, tiny bit here and there. But obviously, if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more like it, make sure to hit that like button down below. I would really appreciate it. And I want to ask you guys to put down in the comment section down below below who do you think would be a better manager for Everton do you think Rafa Benitez is the man for the job or do you think Duncan Ferguson would be a better manager obviously I mean I've got my say on the matter I just don't understand why Duncan Ferguson didn't get the job we've seen him as an interim manager before for Everton before the likes of Ancelotti took over the job he was absolutely excellent in that spell where he did well against the likes of Manchester United and Chelsea I remember that spell he was excellent I mean he probably knows Everton better than any manager who, who could come in so I'm a bit surprised that Ferguson didn't end up getting the job. Obviously, he would only be the second greatest ever Scottish manager in the Premier League that's named Ferguson. But you know what? At the end of the day, losing to Alex Ferguson isn't the worst. I'm surprised Ferguson didn't get the job. But I do believe Rafa Benitez could still do a solid job. I want to hear your guys' opinions down below. Who's better, Rafa Benitez or Duncan Ferguson for Everton? As I said, guys, like this video down below if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'd love to reach 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Let's see if we can make that happen. Guys, this has been Finn, FYN, and I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your days.